Well, tonight we're doing our first Saturday uh, art walk to have the Puella Cannery. Um, we invite the public to come down and watch us do a live uh, glass blowing demonstration, usually with music, uh, little refreshments and food. In which we encourage all the artists here to leave their studio doors open so people can, of the community can come, look at the different pieces of glass, and look at the different pieces of art that, that's available here at the cannery and how people do their, their art here. We're called The Factory here because it's based on Andy Warhol's old factory in New York City. A uh, place for artists to come and, uh, and network with each other and uh, inspire each other. And so we try to incorporate everyone's talents and give people a venue to be able to do what they do best. Uh, we have a friend, Kenny Tilton, who we represent here in our gallery, and we have one of his surfboards here today. And I've shaped foam boards for 50 years, and I'm kind of going 360 back to the wood boards where I started from. Now this board here is solid core, one piece. The bottom one there is uh, mango. It's similar to the board I learned on back in Waikiki in the early, uh, early 50s. The artwork is by Susie Papa Nicholas. I shape the board and she does the artwork on it. We also represent uh, Solomon Enos, who's a master native Hawaiian painter, of which I have a work behind me. The studio next door is a hot glass studio. It's been built by you know, some of the most uh, talented engineers in glass in the world. Tonight, we are gonna do a demonstration. The demonstration is usually started about 5 p.m. It's real family friendly. Um, then about 7.30, the lights go off, the music starts, and we take this demonstration in glass to another level. We're gonna be doing theatrical glass blowing, which is kind of a Cirque du Soleil of glass. It's a very process-oriented art. We start out with a pot of glass, which is basically sand and lime mixed at 2100 degrees and melted down to a liquid honey. We take that out and we make different pieces out of it. And we do that by, by gathering the glass on the end of a steel blowpipe. Then we reheat it into this glory hole, which is the reheating chamber. After that, we sit at the bench with a team of people assisting to shape and create this piece of glass. You can't blow glass by yourself. You have to have a team of people. And so it's somewhat like a dance. Tonight we have Charles Lowry, who's the head gaffer, and he's gonna be making a piece uh, based on a piece that we made for the Dalai Lama. When the Dalai Lama came to Maui in April, last April, we made him a special piece called the Sphere of Consciousness. It's a very tricky piece, technically. I was raising the audience energy up. They were filling us. And uh, we love working with an audience, you know? It's, it's, like, it's like a rock show, you know? Rock and roll, you know? It's good, it's good. Maui, the islands, the, the, native, the native culture is um, part of why I'm here. The creation, the essence, the vibration of life. I feel that energy, and I feed on it, and I, in a way, regurgitate it for future generations, you know, in, in the work. I love the gathering of the people. I feel the process of what we do is almost more important than the actual finished piece sitting on the pedestal. The community's evolved, and that's the most important aspect of it, I feel. It brings everybody together, one ohana. It's always just really good fun. It's always something I look forward to every month. I really like the idea of all the different types of arts coming together and the mixed media. It's really good. That's a wonderful form. It's actually amazing because of the fact that you're sculpting with fire, breath, and gravity. So realistically, it's I think it's the sexiest art, really. I have a YouTube channel, and you can see all of our videos there, which allow anybody in the world to come into these first Saturday events 
and get a taste of it. Uh, hopefully people are excited about it and keep coming down and buying it and supporting us so that we can keep doing these kind of events and better events in the future.